So one of the things car campers are always looking at is how do I sleep out of the back of the car? But what if I want to get out and sleep on the ground? Well, you know, you need something to protect yourself in that. There's a lot of different things that you'll see to do that that are less than a tent, but more than a bedroll. We've got Tim from Kakadu, proudly Australian. Tim, how are you? I'm Pete. Pete, I'm great. Good to Fantastic see you. Fantastic to meet you. Yeah, you got some great looking gear back here. Why don't we describe it to our audience and tell us what we have? Yeah, I'd love to. So we're actually launching Kakadu brand here in the US this weekend at Overland Expo. We've got a, a number of new products that we're, we're bringing to market that I think are quite unique, right? And so we have our stretcher tent, which I think you folks would probably know more as a, a cot tent. Yes. Um, there are some really good benefits, first and foremost, about getting up off the ground when, you, when you're camping, right? So not only are you up off the ground increasing your airflow, so you're reducing the likelihood of condensation uh -huh. inside your unit, but you're also uh, keeping yourself a lot warmer, so you're not going to be cold on the ground. You're going to lose a lot of heat when you're, when you're straight on the ground there. So um, the, the stretcher tent here, We've been doing this in Australia for a long time, um, and the sort of guy who's going to be buying this is the person that doesn't necessarily want to be up in the rooftop tent, but they want something that's going to be really quick, really practical, easy to get into, easy to set up, and, and probably importantly, easy to pull down as well. Yeah. And snakes are probably not going to climb up these little poles and get in there too easily, so right? That's that's part of the reason, right? So where, where we camp, that snakes and spiders, and there's a lot of things that can kill you. So. You know, it's really important to be away from that, particularly in certain areas. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll take you guys through some of the features. So um, what you have here is a quick fold stretch car or cot tent here. So it's a, a full steel frame with the integrated telescopic poles in the bed end. So you simply fold your stretcher out, erect your poles in the end. You're running a 50 by 50 mesh inner. So it's a full mesh inner. You can use it on its own without the rain fly. So if you're in a, a hotter or a, uh, a more humid environment, you can do that. Um, we call it midgy proof, so little sand flies won't get through that mesh, which is great. Um, you've also got this rain fly, so it's a 150 denier um, polyester ripstop fly. It's a 3000 mil waterhead rated fly, it's uh, fully seam sealed, so that practically translates to it's going to keep you dry, right? You're not going to get wet in this. Um, and importantly, being a full mesh inner, it's also going to breathe really well. So you're not going to get all that condensation forming inside of a nighttime. And we've also incorporated our block out technology. So if you look under the tent, it has a, a black coating on the underside of that, of that fly. And what that does is a couple of things, right? It helps to block out the sunlight by up to 90%. So it'll keep that tent really dark. So if you're wanting to sleep in or you just need some dark environment to really sleep and, and keep yourself bunkered down, it's going to do that. And it'll also regulate the heat. So it's going to keep it slightly warmer in winter and certainly cooler in summer as well, anywhere up to about 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's significant. Yeah. And then um, when it's all said and done, you pack it down, straight back in the carry bag. It's a nice portable unit. You can throw it on the, in the back of the truck, you can throw it on the roof, get away and use it. But it's a perfect option for a quick strike mission. Great. Now, uh, the other thing I want to take a look at is if you do want to get down on the ground and maybe bring a friend, uh, there's something I know we, we would call it a you know, bedroll with a yeah. roof or something. Yep. You call it a swag. We call so it a swag, yeah. Let's go over and take a look at the swag. Love to show you. So the swag is, it's pretty stock standard on how we camp in Australia and have been for, for literally forever. So the main feature on a swag is, yes, it's on the, it's on the ground. Um, you can get this particular design up off the ground on a compatible stretcher. Um, but what you'll find with the swag, if we get down low in here, is you'll see that it, it includes the mattress. So we've got a two and a half inch high density foam mattress with a flannel cover in here. That stays in the swag all the time, oh, even so you, when packed away. So you away. close it up and roll right in there. Spot on. Yeah. What about now? What about your sleeping bag? Yeah. So you you throw your own sleeping bag in there, uh -huh. and you absolutely keep that in as well. So everything rolls up. It's yep. one and done. One and done. Maybe wash it every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Depending on how finicky you are. Yeah. So <laughs> mine's yet to see a wash. There we go. Well, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> um, so we're running a 420 um, D GSM poly cotton canvas here, full ripstop. You'll see plenty of mesh ventilation throughout the, the swag as well. Really important because this canvas does tend to sweat a little bit if you don't have the right amount of uh, ventilation. So we've gone over and above here. So we've got four D-door entry points, each full uh, full mesh ventilation with the, with the pull-down uh, canopy. We've got a bed end and a head end uh, mesh port as well, which you can actually gus it out on the window to and play around with how you want to ventilate. So. Now, a lot okay. of times you'll end up putting your shoes or something like that underneath there to keep them dry. That's right, yeah. You've got a, got a nice place to stash and, and store. Um, we've also got some internal integrated LED lighting, which will operate off a USB sort of power bank, um, which is really handy, and a nice multi-panel gear organizer in, inside. So, Yeah, that's great. And I'll tell you what, there's enough olive drab 
coloring here that we yeah. finally get to see a little fashion. It's like fashion forward, <laughs> you know? Yeah, uh, thank But you. it's great. I think it's a, it's a fantastic product. The Australians are known for bringing this kind of outback, outdoor concept to us. We appreciate that. But this, this definitely looks like a step above. So congratulations yeah, on bringing it here. Really appreciate it. We're excited. Yeah, so if people want to find out more about Kakadu, how do they do that? Yeah, just jump online. You'll find us at kakadousa.com. Wonderful. And uh, website's up there. We've got um, some lot of lot of new products that we're launching, and uh, we've got a fair bit in the pipeline as well. So in Australia, we've, we've got 800-odd products sitting behind us. We're targeting very focused in the overland market here, and we'll just keep trip feeding through some nice innovation. Good, wonderful. If we can help you, let us know. Love we'll to. see you out on the trail. Pete, great to meet you. Take care. Thanks very much. Thank you.